Mr. Clarence here from Clarence Maths. Today we're going to be looking at compound shapes and the perimeter of compound shapes. This follows on from yesterday's or the previous lesson where we did the area of compound shapes involving fractions of a circle. This time it will be the perimeter involving fractions of a circle. I'll do a couple of examples and then we'll have a worksheet that you can try. This is a little bit tricky. It adds in a few types of maths that we've done in other lessons, such as Pythagoras to work out the lengths of sides. So try and follow along and see how you get on. Let's go straight into example one. So example one, it says calculate the perimeter of, and we've got this shape being drawn here with two sides knotted. This side here is 12 centimetres, and then this side here is six centimetres. So I'm going to look at the rectangle and the semicircle separately, okay? So let's look at the rectangle to start with, because that's easy. So if I just draw a little sketch of a rectangle, I'll call this one, and two, so you can see what's happening. For shape one, I've got this. Notice I haven't drawn on this side because I'm going all the way around the shape, so that side is not going to get used. Note the sides then, I've got 12, six, and 12, so adding all them up, in total, I have got 24, 30. So it's 30 centimeters for shape one. Shape two is the trickier one. So if I draw a little sketch for shape two, you've got a semicircle and its diameter is six centimetres and we want to work out, if I highlight it, we want to work out just this bit here, which remember is called the arc length. So the arc length of this well, it's a half of a circle, so it's a half times pi times the diameter, and that'll just give us, remember, only this bit. It won't give us this bit, which is good, because we don't want that bit. It's not part of the perimeter. So we've got a half times pi times 6, which is 3 pi, which we'll need as a number because we've got 30 centimetres already. So we've got 3 times pi, 3.14, 9.42. So our total perimeter, the answer, is just 30 plus 9.42, which is 39.42. And it's just centimetres because it's just the distance all the way around the outside. Let's go into a second example, slightly more complicated. So example two says calculate the perimeter of, and we've got this shape here, it looks a bit like an ice cream cone. So notice we've got a semicircle again, which should be nice and easy because we've just done one. But then we've got a triangle. Now this is meant to be an isosceles triangle. So we'll do the same as we did before and split it up into two shapes, shape one and shape two. And looking at shape one, if I draw a little sketch, doesn't have to be exact, but if I put that eight centimetres inside now, then that's the height of my triangle. The problem is, I don't know this side here. And I'm going to need it to work out the perimeter. So I'm going to have to work this out, but I do know this side here because half of that is 12 half of that is six so it's going to be six on either side so it's six centimeters so by pythagoras i can work out this missing side here which i'll call x just a quick reminder of pythagoras you square both sides and add them together to give you the square of the other side so we've got six squared plus eight squared equals x squared so taking our time on that sum, we've got 36 plus 64, which is 100. So since x squared equals 100, x is the square root of 100, which is 10. So we now know that if I redraw the triangle, we're going to have 10 and 10 and 12. So we've got 10 and 10 and 12, and the only bits we need are the 10 and the 10, because the 12 is not part of the perimeter of the shape. 
So the amount we've got for this one is 20 centimeters. Just this bit and this bit. So now we'll look at shape two. Shape two is a little bit easier because it's just the semicircle. So we just want the arc length. So remember the arc length is a half times pi times the diameter of 12, which is six pi, which using a calculator gives us 18.84. So our answer, our final answer, which we'll do in green, is 18.84 for the arc length, plus the 20 centimeters for the two straight sides, which is 38.84 centimeters. So your work to try, calculate the area and perimeter of the following shapes. Pause the video here and give it a go. Obviously we've done area previously, so if you need to refer back to the previous video, have a look at the previous video on area and then give this a go. Pause the video now and then come back for the actual final answers. And here is all the answers in order, so obviously it goes along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at those answers, see if you managed to get them. If not, have a look back at the two examples we just did. And good luck with that. This has been Claire on Maths. So we've done a little bit on perimeter of compound shapes. I hope that was helpful for you. Please give a like and subscribe if it was. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.